Hi everyone, it's Alma Christina. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're doing a plan with me for the week of October 4th through October 10th. And I think I want to do another fall spread, but I'm going to be using these little fall girls. I actually purchased these as a like digital file from Etsy and I printed them out and I cut them with my uh, Cricut machine. I actually don't really like the way they cut them. It left a lot of white space like on some some of them, but that's okay. I can just cut it off. And actually, I also printed them like the opposite. Like she's facing that way, here she's facing that way because sometimes I like them facing different ways. And I found these. I don't think I'm going to use that one. I didn't like how that one paired with it, but I found these um, quotes in different books. And then these, I'm going to use these boxes from these two books, The Neutrals and The Rainbow. And... I'm going to use the washi that I used in my last fall spread. I wanted to do a fall spread this week because I wanted I really like fall spreads and I already did did one in September, but I wanted to do at least one in October and one in November or m maybe two in November, I'm not sure, but I am doing one in October and one in November for sure. So, let's get started with the washi first. I'm going to put some down here. Okay, so I'm not sure if I should start with the um, functional because I don't really have too much this week. I have a couple things here, a couple things here, and here okay I feel like I should put the girls down first okay yeah let's do that I think first I want this girl she's probably my favorite she looks so cute reading I think I want her over here on this corner. I'm gonna white, white out this focus. I'm not liking this big white space. Let me cut that off. Okay, I think that looks a little better. She's so cute. I love her. Let me cut this off. Oh, by the way, I don't think I mentioned I printed them on sticker paper. On like, actually it was like a shipping label paper, I think. Which I should get like real sticker paper, but I'm not, I don't use, I don't do this too often where I make stickers. But yeah, that's where I, um, I printed them on shipping paper and then cut it out with my Cricut machine. Okay, so we have her down. And let me see who else I can put there with her. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Okay, I think I want to put this girl up here on this corner. 
She has a lot of white space down here. Okay, so I cut off some of this white space from her leg. And I think I'm going to put her right here. Are so adorable okay now since she's on this pumpkin maybe she's like at a pumpkin patch right so maybe I can put this girl next to her or maybe a little bit higher up her pumpkins kind of cut off maybe I can put it way over here so I can cut cut it off there Okay, so they're just hanging out at a pumpkin patch. And she has her little, I don't know, hot chocolate or something. Okay, so let me see what's next. I can put this raking girl. Let me see who else I can add. So all I have left is these four. Because I already used her. And since I have three girls here, maybe three girls over here. Okay guys, I think I'm going to put this girl with the little wheelbarrow in the middle right here. And then this girl with the apples, I think I'm going to put her here. Because I don't have anything for Tuesday. So I can just cover that up. I should have scooted her over. Let me see if I can lift this up. So I can scoot her a little bit over. Okay. I think that's good. Alrighty, that might be all the girls I'm going to use. Because it's pretty full. They're pretty big. So let me put in my functional boxes.
have a couple of things on Tuesday, but I don't want to put them all jumbled up right there. So maybe I'll put one like over this way. Okay, I think I want to put this maybe like over here somewhere. I'll put it here. And I'll put a brown box here. An orange one there. And then I'll put this other quote over here at the pumpkin patch. Wait, I want to wipe that out. Okay, I want to put this coat right here in the middle. I kind of want to take this. Maybe from here down. I mean, I don't mind this grid, but that line is going to be like right through it. Okay guys, so I'll put this coat here, and now I'm going to put two little boxes there. Okay, I want to put this orange one here, but I want to white out that first box. And then I'll put the brown one over here. And let me put one more here. Let me switch these. Okay guys, so I switched these around so I want to be orange and orange. And I think I'm done. Yeah, looks cute. I wish I had like more little apples or leaves or something to like sprinkle around. Okay, so I was about to close up shop for the day. I already have my, my spread in my planner and everything and I remembered I have this book I just got it and it has a bunch of leaves in here so I'm gonna like put leaves all around the girls these yeah 
I think I'm gonna put these all around. And then I noticed that all of these girls have blue jeans and these don't. And I'm like, wait, there's some blue in here I could add. Let me just, let me just take this. There's two pages. Yeah, there's two pages. Let me take one out. Because this book is really big to be putting it around there. Okay, so let's see. Maybe a couple there. They don't really match with the leaves that this girl's raking, but I don't know what kind of rainbow leaves she has in her yard, but these don't look like fall colors. It's like green. I'm sure the leaves fall when they're not green anymore, but you know, hey, maybe she has some kind of magical yard. So we'll let her, we'll let her be. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I could put like some little leaves here so like maybe she's walking and she's blowing the leaves back. I think that one's too big though. Okay, so I added a few more leaves around the spread and I think it looks way better. So that's my spread for the week. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!